Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and you're going to want to watch this video if you want to avoid this common query mistake. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, we're going to work with the pizza sample database. You can get it through Git, and you can find the link in the comments. Let's get started. We're going to focus on customer orders and coupons, and we're going to be joining them by the coupon ID. So we got customer orders and coupons. So let's get started. All right. So what I want to show you is a hypothetical query I got here where let's say that Lou, the owner of our pizza, joint wants to understand how many customers are using coupons so we write a quick query that shows customers on the order date and then what coupons they've used in the percent and we get back some data and here we can see the person's last name the order date and the percent discount on the coupon and if you look you can see that there's been 28 rows returned from customers and one thing you might think is like, yeah, it seems kind of well. So let's do a double check. And this is usually what I do is a little sanity check. And I'm going to return the number of rows that I have in my customer order table. Okay. Just to double check to make sure that things are all copacetic here. And lo and behold, check it out. I got 92 rows in my customer order table. Holy smokes, I'm dropping rows. If I run the query again, remember, I'm getting 28 rows. So what's happening? How come I'm losing rows? Can anybody think of the reason? All right. The reason is that not everybody uses a coupon. So when we do an inner join right here, we're demanding that we have a match to the coupon table. If there's no match, we get no row returned in our result. So what we need to do is change this to a left join and this is a huge common mistake and this is why people miss data in their results so let's change this to a left join and that'll be an outer join now and what this now says is that return all rows from customer order and if we do happen to have a coupon we'll return that percent discount amount otherwise will return nothing so let's run this and what you're going to see now is some percent discounts and you're going to see some null values those null values just basically mean like for instance on march 1st here gavin uh didn't use a coupon when they did an order okay so that's really the pitfall that you want to uh avoid so what you want to do is essentially when you're doing a query is always check to make sure that you're not in quotes dropping rows unintentionally sometimes you want to do that you want to constrain rows using your inner joints but sometimes you do not like in this case we wanted to get the full complement of users so you can do a row count and then um, based on that see your full customer order list and then compare that to your number of rows returned from your query it includes the join and if they don't match you can see you got a problem so what I want to do now is essentially do a summary on this and rather than wait for you guys to watch me type I'm gonna bring in a query to show you how to do an average here and I want to essentially take the people's names like Duffy I got like repeat customers and I want to show you the average percent discount of these folks all right so I have my left join here and we're just going to roll up and see what different people um, purchase. And I want you to look at the hers here. All right. And notice right here, they have a average discount taken of 12. And some of these people have no. So one thing you may be wondering is how does average handle the null value? That's a good question. So what I want to do is to be super clear about this is actually if I do have a, a, a null discount in my query is to set it to zero and then use that in my average. So I'm going to put the is null function in here and essentially say, okay, if my percent discount is null, 
let's set that to zero. That's what we're doing right here, okay? So when it's zero, then we're gonna take the average. Otherwise, just take the average of what I have. Now when I run this, and look at what, watch to her here, and you'll see the value is gonna change. It should change like eight, I believe. Okay, there's a little better numbers. So the average changed, because null really is not, when, when the value was null, it was just kind of chucked out and not used in the calculation at all, because it's null's really missing value. So, in this case, since this, you know we wanted to reflect the fact that no coupon is like really taking a zero discount, we can show their average discount for their purchases is actually on average um, 8%. So, I'm hoping you're finding this illuminating. Uh, the pitfall is is make sure you understand which join you're using a lot of times people just go for the inner join that's the first one they learn it's one they always use you'll find that you may unintentionally drop rows that you don't want to so use the left join when needed and the way you can check to see if you are dropping rows is to always do a row count on that main table like in my case customer order and you can then um, compare that to the result that you're getting with uh, the join result and if they don't match then you understand that you're dropping rolls. Hope you like this video. Uh, share it with your friends and subscribe please and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.